Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss what is an equilibrium ratio. So an equilibrium ratio, if you've got some system, maybe a physical system or a chemical system, equilibrium ratio is a ratio between two or more quantities such that the system will reach an equilibrium point. So for a very simple example, suppose that you have a seesaw or teeter-totter with a fulcrum somewhere. There's a child on one end with a mass, what we'll call M1, a child on the other end with a mass that we'll call M2. And suppose that the fulcrum is not necessarily in the center, but can be shifted around. We'll call this distance D1, and we'll call this distance D2. Now, in order for the seesaw to be balanced and reach the equilibrium position of it being perfectly horizontal, it needs to be the case that the first mass times the first distance is equal to the second mass times the second distance. Now, if we divide by D1 on both sides and divide by M2 on both sides, we get that the ratio of the masses must be the reciprocal of the ratio of the distances. So, if you happen to know, for example, that M1 is equal to 50 kilograms, and M2 is equal to 60 kilograms. Well, we know that 50 over 60 is going to be the ratio D2 over D1. So, you need to have 50 units of distance here and 60 units of distance here, whatever that unit might be or 50 sixtieths of the teeter-totter on one side of the fulcrum and 10 sixtieths of the teeter-totter on the other side. And that will be your equilibrium ratio. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed what is an equilibrium ratio.